Hello! For today I wanted to upload a really short video on how I painted these rosemary branches. Um, so I thought maybe I could also explain a bit what I did during the process because I find this piece was quite uh, challenging also for me due to the number and level of details. So I'll try to do my best. I'm not really sure how to explain <laughs> things I've never explained to anyone how I'm painting, but I'll try to do my best. So I've started with the um, rosemary leaves and what I wanted to obtain was a faded color effect, but also to be left with a contour for each element, so each leaf and each uh, flower bud. So I did that by adding a watercolor stain to the leaf. I left it there for one or two seconds and then just quickly lift it up from the paper with a clean brush. Um, and then I was left with this effect of faded uh, pastel color, let's say, and also contour for the leaf, a very thin contour. And I repeated this process for all uh, the elements of the drawing. Uh, so for the leaves, for the flower buds and also for uh, the branches. Then I continued with adding different green shades to the leaves because if you look closely depending on how uh, the light is hitting the leaves and also depending on whether the leaves are turned up or you see them from underneath uh, they have different colors, they tend to be warmer or cooler, darker or lighter. So I came with some additional uh, warmer or cooler green tones, depending on the case. And then in order to add more contrast to the painting and also some uh, depth of field illusion, I came with some additional um, color stains and uh, mainly purple tones. I used cooler tones uh, to add more shade to some of the leaves and warmer tones uh, to make a nicer color transition on the top of the leaves. And once I was finished with the leaves, I just accentuated and added a bit more uh, color and contrast to the flower buds and also to the branches. So I hope it was helpful uh, or maybe inspired you to, to try this technique as well. And until next time, stay creative. Bye bye.